Hello everyone and welcome to Basic Photoshop Tutorials. Uh, sorry about the delay. I've been a lot. I've been uh, really busy with work lately, and uh, it's actually 12 midnight right now, and I'm making this video for you guys um, just to show you how much I love you all. <laughs> actually, uh, last week I had some issues with some people. There was some feedback and some some things that were not really, you know nice to hear but uh, just want to remind everybody that these are basic these are for beginner users uh, I will get to more advanced stuff so just hold on and uh, please don't be um, malicious with your ratings I had a, somebody who went around and rated all of my videos a one last week and uh, subsequently dropped all my ratings for no reason but anyways enough bitching and let's get to Photoshop so this week we're gonna do a uh, I don't know how you would describe it, but it's sort of like uh, uh, distorting and uh, using masks, uh, I guess you could say. Um, so we'll, we'll just get to get right to it. You'll see how we go along with this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this flag, the Canadian flag, because I'm Canadian, and I'm going to use this silk sheet and use the texture on that sheet to incorporate it into the flag, but not using the texture technique of past episodes, but um, you know other techniques which I'll show you as we go along so um, basically what you want to do is first of all is find the texture um, for the silk that you want in this case I uh, or we I mean you don't have to use silk but anything that that sort of has these little uh, folds and you know color differentials in it is perfect for this type of uh, this type of uh, technique so just go on to Google and search uh, I don't know in this case I search silk you can search whatever you want, but uh, go out there, pull the image into your Photoshop, and then uh, open it up. And the first thing you want to do is is uh, dis desaturate this image. So go to Image, Adjustments, and Desaturate. And make sure you have that layer selected as you do that, otherwise it won't work. So now we have it uh, desaturated. What we want to do is we want to get rid of the the texturing on that layer. If you notice, if you look really close, you probably won't be able to see it on YouTube if you if you aren't watching in high uh, in high def. But if you look closely, you'll see there's still a little bit of texture in between these grooves. So to get rid of that, what we're gonna do is go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and you're gonna pull up the Blur Options box here. And we're just gonna go and and sort of manipulate the the radius until we find the desired amount of smoothness in this case I will be using uh, let's go with the let's go with the okay all right about a 14 14.8 in that range there let's just make it 15 okay so that we have 15 Gaussian blur on it um, and then we're just gonna move along here and what I want to do is now I want to save this particular image uh, and you'll see why we do that in a minute so I just go to file save as and your your uh, window will pop up and now you want to make sure you save it to somewhere you can find it pretty easily just save it to your desktop call it uh, I'm just gonna call it texture um, you can call it whatever you want save it to your desktop again just hit OK and then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just turn off the eye there and then we're gonna go ahead and pull up our flag obviously the Canadian flag and what we want to do is we want to we want to use the contours, we want to use the texture of that silk that we just did, but put it onto the flag. We don't want it to look one dimensional or two dimensional, I guess you could say. We want it to have a 3D effect, we want it to have some movement, some some, some texture to it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure we have that, that the flag selected. Go to uh, Filter, and Distort, and Displace and this window will pop up. Make sure you have your horizontal scale at 10, vertical scale at 10, stretch to fit checked, and wrap around checked as well. Then hit OK. And then what you want to do now is find that texture we just saved. So just go ahead and click the texture and open it. And you'll notice that that the flag is now distorted. It has a bit of a distortion to it. It's sort of wavy, but the texture is still not on top of it. Now to do that, let's turn the texture back on so we can see it right uh, select that layer come up to the layer options and go to hard light okay and right away you can see that the texture is now on top of our flag we have a bit of uh, 
the waviness to it, the little bit of dimension to it, but we still have it bleeding over the edges like that. Now, what, that's something we don't want, obviously, because the flag is just this area here. So to get rid of that, the outside areas, simply hold down Control and select the flag layer. Okay, go to Select and Inverse, and that will have selected everything around the flag. Okay, and now we want to get rid of it. So with the silk layer selected, hit delete. Then hit control and D, and that gets rid of our marquee. So now we have our flag pretty much done. Uh, it's still a little dark for me. And in order to get rid of that darkness, just make sure you have the silk layer selected. Go to opacity and turn it down a tad. And you leave it right about there. And that's pretty much it. We're uh, we're done. That's that's how that works. Um, and again, that's uh, it's a really simple process to do. You can use this on T-shirts, jerseys, uh, any sort of fabric that you want, anything that would have that sort of texture to it and that 3D look. So I hope that helps everybody. And uh, just make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next week.